Hi, I'm Amita Gouda, a junior at Fremont Christian School. Due to prolonged severe droughts and depleting reservoirs and aquifers, desalination is becoming an important source of fresh water. The problem is that for every liter of fresh water produced in the desalination plants, 1.5 liters of brine, a high concentrated salt solution, is also produced. The high costs and challenges incurred in brine treatment and disposal prohibits the expansion of desalination plants. So my question was, how can we safely process and recycle brine for other purposes instead of dumping it back into the ocean or injecting it into deep wells on land? I explored various methods and narrowed it down to the thermal-based zero-liquid discharge treatment method, which has comparatively less side effects. So I then decided to use biomimicry to further improvise this method. As I was researching many natural inspirations, I ruled out the chemical and membrane-based methods as it would be expensive and tedious. I continued searching and came upon the Himalayan salt mountains. The advantage of these Himalayan salt rocks is that it has several minerals mixed into it, similar to the impurities in the brine. I also learned that the Himalayan salt rocks are currently being cut into tiles and bricks and used in construction. So I was now able to formulate a hypothesis. If the salt, along with the mineral impurities in the brine, is first crystallized, then it can be hardened to form bricks for use in construction. My experimentation with household materials showed that the recrystallized salt, even after adding the magnesium mineral, did not hold strong. Because Himalayan salt rocks were formed millions of years ago and as a result of prolonged exposure to heat and compressive pressure, I could not mimic that hardening process. So I explored the addition of other compounds to speed up the hardening process. As I was performing chemical synthesis, I wanted to adopt green chemistry principles. Through my research, I further identified starch as a binding agent. Starch is an eco-friendly and easily transformable natural carbohydrate polymer that is commonly found in a variety of applications in ceramics and materials science. Among various biopolymers, Starch is one of the most abundant natural polymers on the earth and is highly valuable due to its chemical and physical properties. The starch polymer has a highly increased potential as an alternative to petroleum-based materials. So my experiment with starch was very promising. The coagulation happened without any additional energy and just used water as a solvent. And also, the hardening process consumed 50% less heat energy. I used a nail to perform the scratch hardness test and compared the visual and hand pressure approximations between the original Himalayan salt rock and the brine rock. The final brine brick product was as hard and as strong as the Himalayan salt rock. The hardness can be easily adjusted with the starch quantity. So I now had an effective biomimicry and green chemistry based brine brick creation process. In order to eliminate any environmental impacts while creating my brine brick, I designed a crystallization tray to control the whole process. It also operates on renewable and solar wind energy and has an expandable lid inspired by the pangolin scales for use during rainy days. In conclusion, this brine brick creation process solves the original problem of brine waste disposal in an environmentally safe and energy efficient way. I also successfully proved the hypothesis by recrystallizing the brine salt with all of its impurities and harden the crystals with starch to form brine bricks. The brine brick solves the brine disposal issue and will enable desalination plants to produce more usable fresh water.